Hello everybody and welcome back to Elderberry Sprout. So today I wanted to dive into my like journaling pouch thing to show you how I store all of the journaling materials that I take with me from spot to spot when I'm at home. Before we get started, I want to say a quick thank you to everybody who supported my shop restock the other day. All of those orders have already gone out. When you guys are watching this, I'm going to ship them today. And um, yeah, just a big thank you to you guys. I can't do this without you. So to start off with this bag. <laughs> so this is my like kind of journaling caddy. It's got a lot of weird junk in it. Um, this bag itself is a... It's called a bagalini, and this is a bag that is a purse. <laughs> and I just adapted it to be a journaling tote because it had some pretty cool like pockets and dividers and stuff. And I feel like I could work with that for putting my pens in it and all my assorted journaling goodies. So to start off, it's a bagalini. Um, it has, let's see, I'll go to the back first. Here's the back. Generally, this is flipped like this. So I kind of open up this main section with the red so that it's easier to get my stuff in and out of it. But you can see there's a pocket in the back that I shoved the purse like I, oop, handles into. I'm losing my stuff. And then there's this zipper pouch in the front which I can store some stuff in. And then there's pouches on the side that I can store my stuff in. So this is a more recent development for me, and I'm really excited about it. <laughs> so I felt like I had to share it. Um, I've been doing a lot of journaling on the couch recently, just because I don't have much time to watch TV. And if I am watching TV, I'm going to be journaling, or at least collaging, or doing some type of planning during that. So this allows for me to be on the couch with all of my goodies. So let's start by opening this big main pocket. So I've got my traveler's notebook in here and a couple of little uh, like plastic dividers that have collage goodies in them. I'll show you how I made these. So I don't always bring my traveler's notebook with me when I go to the couch or whenever I'm journaling, but this does fit in there, so that's really nice. I do like to keep it in there just in case too, so that's kind of where it lives. So this is a little plastic divider that I got. Um, it's like a portfolio cover. I got a pack of them from the thrift store years ago and I never knew what to do with them. And I'm trying to be more easeful in my life um, with how I'm using plastic because I've been very hard on myself about using plastic and trying to like, you know, do the zero waste thing. Um, and actively trying to use plastic is like a really insane process for me. So I think it's a good practice for me to like not take life so seriously. Anyway, one way I'm doing that is using these plastic dividers, which are secondhand. I cut them in half because it was just a plastic divider that's, so it's a large like double letter size sheet folded over and then creased. That's how they come. So then I cut that in half so that I have two. You can see this is the seam there and then this is the seam there so I cut essentially something that looks like this in half stapled the edge and then I get two little uh, collage goodie holder <laughs> doohickeys so this is working really well for me one with brown paper um, a sorted weird brown paper this one's got um, lines on it which is kind of fun so that's great for collaging and then these are papers that are more patterned. So generally this looks like packaging that I've torn apart. Um, this was the, this kind of cool bubbly texture paper there. I don't know if you can see that. Um, it was a HelloFresh advertisement that I got. So I liked the texture. I threw it in here. Um, I do have a lot of like mailing envelopes. The inside patterns from mailing envelopes are sometimes really cool. So if you get a bill and you're not going to, you're not going to send it in through the mail, just grab those envelopes and tear them up. You never know what you're going to get in there. So this just has some like collage paper, some, uh, yeah, some patterned bits, some writable bits, all sorts of things. These, however, are my colored patterned bits. So I have a lot of stamps in this bag. So <laughs> when I'm tearing apart mail, I will save the stamps in this little section and I'll save the weird patterns in this section. And then it's got wallpaper, um, some handmade paper, wrapping paper. This is a vintage wrapping paper for Christmas. Yeah, all sorts of goodies in there. 
and I'll refill these whenever I have um, a project that I've finished up. Oftentimes I'll have a whole bunch of scraps left over, so I'll try to throw those in here so that I can use them up. I do realize that um, if I have too many like scraps of paper and no good way to organize them, or even like a loose way to organize them, but just not enough space, I need to limit the amount that I keep or I need to use them up immediately. So uh, this is the folder that I'm currently using up. I have a little stash that I keep picking from to try to, I don't know, whittle it down slowly. So that's kind of in my system for going through weird scraps. I'm just gonna collage on the corners of pages essentially. So that's those. Let's get them out of the way here. And then this one is a new development that I'm very excited about. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, so this one is a sticker booklet that I made. So it's got some scrapbook paper on the front with some cardstock on the back because these sticker pages tend to want to curl. But what I've done here, let me scooch my bullet journal, or let me scooch that out of the way. Let me zoom in a bit. So what I've done here is I've taken these style of weird vintage sticker labels. I found them at the thrift stores over the years and I have saved the sheets once I use them up or I just watercolor the stickers themselves so I can use them in collaging. But I created this kind of like portfolio thing. It's got an elastic here and yeah, I, I have these couple watercolor stickers. I got a whole bunch of pages of stickers that I've wa watercolored recently. And then I can just stick whatever stickers I have on here because I've found it very difficult to use up stickers when I do get them. I try not to get stickers, um, but sometimes I do just because they're cute and I'm not a bad person if I use a little bit of plastic. So to stick them here, um, it's great because these pages really sticker super well. So yeah, here's some of the watercolor ones I made. And these are using my metallic watercolors and they're just so fun. <laughs> See, some of these stickers are like, <laughs> they're like 15 years old. I need to use them up, oh my gosh. So this way they're accessible to me in an easy way I can carry with me. They stay flat and I know where they are. So I am thinking about doing a system where um, you see how there's these back pages here? I'd like to figure out if I can glue them together so it just stays as like every sheet is actually stickered, but I'll, I'll experiment with that and see if it works. But as it is now, I do have these empty pages in here. Kind of try to do it by color because I know when I do my monthly setups in my bullet journal, I do that by color. So got lots of browns and blacks and kind of terracotta colors and some purples there. But anyway, I'm super excited that I came up with that idea. I've seen everybody um, using these Traveler's Notebook company sticker, I guess, release packs. And I'm like, I have sticker sheets. Why wouldn't I just turn those into a sticker release little booklet? So well, there's that. Let's see here. What's next? What's next in the bag of tricks? So that was the big section. There are some dividers in here, but I don't really use them. I suppose I could put my little washi um, sample cards in here. That would be really efficient use of space, but I don't really use a whole bunch of washi tape. So these are just the ones that I use frequently. Actually, I will leave him there. And then I've got this little front pouch, which I keep my Tombows in. It's mainly, let's see. It's mainly the Tombos that I'm using for the month. So it's gonna be the colors that match my monthly theme. Sometimes I'll set up my month a little bit early and then I'll also add the new colors into this. So I've got a, you know, a handful worth of Tombos. Um, so let's go in that first pocket on the left. I've got some pencils and a pencil sharpener because that's a necessity for using pencils. I also have a silver gel pen. So if I do wanna collage with um, black papers, I can write on that. And then I've got a watercolor paintbrush that I just use, <laughs> let it dry, and he lives in here too. So when I'm doing watercoloring, I just let all of the pigment dry in the brush, and then I just kind of uh, go into the next color, and if it gets muddy, it gets muddy, you know? So that's just kind of how it works sometimes. But let's see, then I've got this little pocket on the left. I've got two glue sticks, a big boy and a tiny boy, because it 
you know, it's helpful to have a tiny one if you're doing tiny stuff. Um, let's see what's in here. Yes, yes, yes. So in here I've got um, a good gum eraser, whiteout, which I don't like. And I don't like whiteout because I feel like it gets crusty and I can't write on it. But something that I can write on are these. <laughs> so I have this roll of white stickers that I've had for the last 10 years and I finally realized that I can use them to fix my mistakes in my bullet journal. It might be a little bit more uh, raised and I don't know. It adds a layer of dimension, I suppose you could say, but it's much easier to write on with fountain pens. So this is the solution I've come up with, a way to get a secondhand thing, turn it into a whiteout type product without having to create more plastic once again. Let's see here. And then the pencil sharpener. And in the side pocket, I have my watercolor palettes here. I got, oh, I got a question about where I got these from. And I got these from timu.com. So I, di I didn't want to like spend a whole bunch of money on watercolors because I don't really know if it's the thing I'm going to use. But after getting these, I know that metallic watercolors are going to be one of my favorite tools ever. So definitely suggest trying them out, see if they work for you, and then invest in a quality set. So that's what's in here right now. Let's put everything back. So these are the journaling materials that I use when I'm either at the couch or at my desk. I like having it in this little caddy because then I can just pick it up, take it wherever I'm going. Um, however, it is a little bit large to take to a public place or like take it to work or something. So this is more of a creative planning, uh, I guess, caddy really. So most frequently when I'm doing my planning, I am here at my desk. So when I'm working at my desk, I need to have a place to store my inks, my fountain pens, um, cutting mats, extra clips, um, and all sorts of other stuff. So let me show you my desk setup. So this is my current desk setup. You can see that I've got some screen protectors there just because I want to integrate more screen-free time into my year this year. I've got all sorts of re recording equipment, some journal storage up here, Got my little camera mount, some uh, lamps for lighting, and then I've got my computer and my desk. So in this little black box, I have some storage for my camera equipment, some batteries, some lens caps, some SD cards. That's a little audio recorder device. I've got my little timer, some perfumes my pen storage holder thing. So this is the pen. These are the pens that I use most frequently. They're not all of them. Got a little pen caddy up there for my currently inked fountain pens. Got some headphone storage. Then I've got the heavy lifter over here, this little wooden box that has a whole bunch of little cubbies in it. And each of the little cubbies has their own thing going on. So I've got a whole bunch of pens and pencils. These are the current pens that I'm using in this little white one. So these are the current pens that I'm using. I've got some pencils, some pens in there. I've got an extra little cup carrying some stuff. This is my little watercolor, like water tub that I use. Got some matches, some scrap, a uh, chapstick and like nail clippers and some tools. So these are like my, um, my cutting tools, my awl, and I've got a cutting mat and a straight edge triangle here, and they just slide back there. Then over here, you gotta ignore the cord here. That's <laughs> currently my camera is plugged in, so that's what that is. I've got a mug that sometimes I'll use as a mug and sometimes I'll use as a pen holder. <laughs> I got that there. I've got my favorite um, noodler's ink right there. I've got the thing with the green spine there. That's my little sewing kit. I've got some elastic and leather scraps in that light gray pouch. In that dark gray pouch, I have my ink and like fountain pen filling kit. Then in that pink pen pouch there, I have my fountain pens. I also have my fountain pens in this orange pen pouch as well. And then back here, I've got some more leather scraps in this little pouch. So 
I love that I found these pouches and that they all fit in the same size. And then I was able to make those two, the, the wool felted ones, um, and my little sewing kit, um, to fit in here. It works really well. This wooden shelf that this monitor sits on is made out of a old drawer. I had cut the back part off. It wasn't being used anymore, and now it's being used every single day. You can see we've got some lovely dovetails there, <laughs> so I love those little details. Now if we move my caddy to the side, you can see that this is my other monitor stand, which I built. I built it to the exact specifications I wanted, which is great. I might put another shelf on there, but um, this is working for me now, and I got my little keyboard leaning up there, my speakers, and yeah, so I've got lots of wood going on. Oh yeah, and my mouse and keyboard. Oh, and my garbage down there. But yeah. So that's my little desk set up. This isn't the only desk that I have. I also have a um, craft shack, which is like this little wooden shed I put together. Um, but I can't use that in the winter. And this is what I use in the winter time because it's chilly outside and it's warm in here. So <laughs> this is where I'm editing videos. This is where I'm collaging. This is where I'm filming even because I got my little camera mount up there. So I do everything here. Let's do some zoom ins of this beautiful silk. This silk was originally a scarf from my grandmother and I never used it as a scarf because it was a little bit too stiff, but it really lends itself to being a beautiful monitor cover. Cause I honestly, I get to see it way more than if I was wearing it. It's a little bit darker on this side, but it's nice to have something beautiful to look at instead of dark, ominous, black screens sitting there staring at you, beckoning forth, stare at me. <laughs> I don't know if anybody else feels that way. Sometimes when you're not maybe as aware, you feel like you're drawn to your computer or your TV more. I notice that with myself, so this helps me think, no, I'm in the present moment and I'm experiencing beautiful color. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed peeking into my little uh, <laughs> one corner command station. This is the stuff that I can access immediately. I also have some more journals and like my printer over there, but um, this is what I consider my command station. So hope you got some inspiration or at least just enjoyed seeing a peek into somebody else's life. If you guys like seeing a little peek into my life and organization systems, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you want to see more organizing stuff, man oh man, would I love to share that with you. I am a very organizing person. Maybe I could do just a full desk setup and show you absolutely every detail here, like go into all of the little cubbies I have and whatnot. Uh, if you want that video, tell me, because I would love to share it with you. Thanks for watching, you guys, and I hope you can do some magical journaling today. Bye.